In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We come to be nourished by the Word of God, by the body and blood of Christ, who leads us on His way. So let us open our hearts to His presence. Lord Jesus, you show us the ways of peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you show us the ways of love. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your guidance, do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the first book of Kings. After the death of Naboth, the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, start down to meet Ahab, king of Israel, who rules in Samaria. He will be in the vineyard of Naboth, of which he has come to take possession. And this is what you shall tell him. The Lord says, after murdering, do you also take possession? For this, the Lord says, in the place where the dogs licked up the blood of Naboth, the dogs shall lick up your blood too. And Ahab said to Elijah, Have you found me out, my enemy? And he answered, Yes. Because you have given yourself up to doing evil in the Lord's sight, I am bringing evil upon you. I will destroy you and cut off every male in Ahab's line, whether slave or free man in Israel. I will make your house like that of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and like that of Baasha, the son of Ahijah. Because of how you have provoked me by leading Israel into sin. And against Jezebel, too, The Lord declared, The dogs shall devour Jezebel in the district of Jezreel. When one of Ahab's line dies in the city, dogs will devour him. When one of them dies in the field, the birds of the sky will devour him. Indeed, no one gave himself up to the doing of evil in the sight of the Lord, as Ahab did, urged on by his wife Jezebel. He became completely abominable by following idols, just as the Amorites had done, whom the Lord had drove out before the children of Israel. When Ahab heard these words, He tore his garments and put on sackcloth over his bare flesh. He fasted, slept in the sackcloth, and went about subdued. And then the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Have you seen that Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he has humbled himself before me, I will not bring the evil in his time. I will bring the evil upon his house 
during the reign of his son. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your goodness, in the greatness of your compassion. Wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be, Be merciful, merciful, O Lord, Lord for, for we have sinned. sinned. Turn away your face from my sins, and blot out all my guilt. Free me from blood guilt, O God, my saving God. Then my tongue shall revel in your justice. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your heavenly Father, for he makes his sun rise on the bad and the good and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers and sisters only, what is so unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfected just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we're getting to the end of the adventures of Elijah that we're reading in the book of Kings. And at this point, God is absolutely furious at Ahab, the king, who's done terrible things, killed people, set up idols, turned lots of people away from the worship of God. And, and God is absolutely furious and he sends Elijah to deliver this prophetic challenge. And God doesn't pull any punches. First of all, Elijah has to go personally and deliver this. He can't send an email. Um, this is a king who is trying to kill Elijah, and Elijah has to go to him and deliver this critique from God. And God is very blunt. He says, you will die and the dogs will lick your blood in the streets. 
had a very pretty picture. Elijah speaks the truth to power, delivers this prophetic criticism of the king. And amazingly, the king takes it to heart and he repents. And God accepts his repentance. The interesting thing is the king calls Elijah my enemy, but God does not consider Ahab an enemy, even though he's done terrible things. We hear in the gospel this call from Jesus to love our enemies, pray for those who persecute us. It's a very powerful challenge. And sometimes we can listen to this and think that what Jesus is asking us to do is to be kind of like a Casper milk toast accepting whatever abuse comes our way, tolerating bad things. But that's not the case. There is room for being prophetic and critique what is evil, what is unjust, without demonizing people and treating them as enemies. It's a good message for us to hear today because we live in a culture where many people view the world as us and them. The people who agree with me and everybody else who doesn't agree with me is an enemy. There's a lot of that going around today. What Jesus is calling us to do is not even to think of people in those categories, us and them, friends and enemies, but to pray for all people at the same time, to criticize what needs to be criticized, to call for justice, to call for change when there needs to be change. So let's take these words of Jesus to heart and perhaps change our own perspective on the people around us, on the people in the world. Stop dividing people into friends and enemies to speak out against injustice without demonizing people, to call for change when it needs to happen, and yet to pray for all people, even those we don't agree with. Let's offer our prayers to the Lord. We pray for all those who seek to follow Jesus today. We pray for the church that we may imitate Jesus in loving all people and praying even for those who may be considered enemies. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of the church, for Pope Francis, for our bishops, for all women and men who have ministries of leadership. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those people in our lives, in our world, that we have a hard time with. People who are difficult to get along with. People who have a completely different perspective, that God may draw us all together. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be able to balance prophetic critique and work for justice together with respect for all people. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, for all those who tend the sick, that God's peace and healing would be with them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who mourn the loss of loved ones, 
We pray for those who have lost people to the coronavirus. We pray for the Gravelin family, the Rousseau family who recently lost sons. We pray for all those who feel grief in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, the Mass today is offered for William Hasters. We also pray for Grace LaSalle, my grandmother, whose birthday was yesterday, that God may welcome those who have died into the light, happiness, and peace of God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers we bear in our hearts, let's pause for a moment in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, you are a God of justice and a God of mercy. We ask you to look upon our needs and receive these prayers and all the prayers of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice and our lives may be acceptable to God, the loving Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Leonard, our Bishop, and all those who minister to your people. And remember also our brothers and our sisters who've fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together the prayer that Jesus has given us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us all together to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o Lord, may your healing work free us from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we will have a public mass at the Grotto this Thursday. We have already reached our limit of 100 people. Um, so if you didn't have a chance to get on the list, um, we'll have a Mass a week from Thursday, so sign up early so you can get on the list. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>